Hello, my name is Kate and I am from Czech Republic and this is my first blog post for Colorcraft. Today I would like to speak about this amazing powder pigment called Brasho. I'm no, not super artist, I'm much more crafter and uh, I have to say that I've really fell in love with these colors. These colors are powders which you can mix with water or any medium and you will create watercolor. You see there's really a high pigmented powder inside each bottle but I usually do not open it I just close it and here is tiny hole. For me it's okay to have tiny hole. Sometimes you need more powder so you can uh, make uh, two, three bigger holes uh, and cover them with tape when you need less powder. It's really up to you how you deal with the, this small bottle with pigment. So now I will show you how they works. For all my examples I will use watercolor paper. It's really great and you need thick paper to uh, avoid the warping of the paper. So my first technique will be applying powders onto a wet surface. So there is a bottle with water, just spray. I will wet my paper and then I will take any color and tap powder into water. And look how magic happens. This is pigment inside of bottle. You can add another color over it. I sprayed a little water on my paper. When you add more water, it still will be reacting, but the colors will start to move and to connect each other. You can take a wet brush and activate it and move it, move the pigment, connect pigment. It's really up to you how you will be playing with the powders. I like to move pigment with uh, brush so I will have smoother background. And you can set this aside and let it dry. Or you can use heat gun to dry it. The second will be applying powder onto dry paper and then over it water. So I will take, oh, this is turquoise, I will sprinkle powder. Uh, I think it's not visible now but you will see it later. And now it's time for water and look again magic is happening. You can move with water, you can leave it as it is. green, leaf green color. So this is second way how you can use powder onto dry surface and activate with water. The next one you can use any kind of palette and make your watercolor like this. You will just add few drops of water into the powder on a palette and mix it and you can draw. I am not good in drawing so I will paint just hard but you see I made my watercolor with brush holes. If you add more water you will have lighter, lighter Sorry, lighter color. If you add more pigment, 
you will have more vibrant color. It's again up to you how you will paint with it. So you can paint with brush off. Of course there are another techniques. I have here some modeling paste. I will apply it here on palette. I will add, for example, again my turquoise. I need my palette knife, just a second. And I can mix my own colored structure paste. You can mix brushes with any medium. You can mix it with uh, pastes, you can mix it, uh, mix it with gesso, clear gesso or white gesso. Of course, when you, can, when you will mix it with uh, clear gesso, it will be vibrant. And you can work, you can work just straight to the page or you can use stencil. So this is another way how to use brush on. Mix it with any color. Make background for your project. It's really, really awesome for mixed media projects. You see, in a minute I have interesting background. And for today, my last technique is to sprinkle it over stencil. So I will clean my surface. It's really strong powder. You see, I have blue here. You can use any stencil for this technique, but again, use watercolor paper and a thick paper. Just like stencil. I will now play with some greens. It's dry paper, dry stencil. I will just sprinkle some leaf green, some emerald green, and some olive green. If you have small hole, you can make bigger, but I want this very light. And just sprinkle with water. Because these greens are made with mixture, you will see also another colors. If you add too much water for this technique, it will blend under stencil. Okay, so now, now let's remove stencil and here it is. I will use some another colors. Of course you can use also this front size. Let's try it with some not so mixed. I think I need bigger holes in my brushes. So again, a little bit of water. Just here and there. Oh, sorry, I'm off the camera. And now it's much more better. Again, very interesting background. I can take this here and I will make this another background. One stencil, two backgrounds. So these were were some of brush techniques. There are tons of other. But these I will show you in some future videos. So thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.